Studio appel le taux 93 50. Vous le taux 93 50. 93 50. Rendez-vous côte Sainte Catherine et Nelson. On sera une femme blessée chute d'une maison appartement. Venez l'appel 030 minutes. Vous le taux 93 50. How's, uh, Jane? <clears throat> Her name's Jane. Oh, yeah, how is she? Terrific. CIV. D'accord. It's blocked. No, we got here too late. By the time we got here, everybody was walking in and out. It was just no use. Il y a des témoins? Oui, il y a un témoin là-bas, apparemment, un chauffeur de taxi. Il dit, il a vu tomber. Quatre-vingt-treize, appelle studio. Pourriez-vous envoyer une, la marque au coin de côte Sainte-Catherine et Nelson? OK, 93, 10 en route. 10, OK. Bonsoir, monsieur. Vous l'avez vu tomber? C'est-à-dire, je suis... Je l'ai vu, je l'ai pas vu arriver. Où est-ce que vous étiez quand... Euh... Mais moi, quand je suis passé, j'ai vu... Euh, la marque, puis, puis là, j'ai téléphoné. They've marked off the body, and now they're taking pictures. Then we can uh, get the body covered up immediately if you want. No, 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 no.
I've got the doorman here. Do you want to talk to him? Yeah, go ahead, take a look. You recognize her? How long have you been on duty? Six o'clock this evening. Did she come in the building? Wearing that kind of thing, she'd be kind of hard to miss. Huh? Boy, did you miss I remember uh, face, but she didn't come in. She sure as hell went out. Couvre la, eh? Oui, monsieur. Va me chercher le concierge. Got the racket. You ain't going nowhere. Yeah, but I am. Heavy date. Okay. Okay, what you talking about? Watch it. Hey, Anderson, fancy meeting you here. What? God, I hate this night work. You finished with this? No, not yet. I've got hold it, hold it. I want my uh, partner to take another look. Cherche your paquet, s'il vous plaît. Oui. Le paquet, voulez-vous monter, s'il vous plaît? Oh, you're working with Paquette, the eager beaver. Yeah, you know him? No, him. Jesus, I'm surprised he didn't get to her before she hit the ground. How are you doing, Paquette? You solved it yet? Good to see you. Come on. Get all these photographers out of here, all these pressmen out of here. I don't want to see anybody around here. I don't want anybody near the body. I miss you. I'm going to go to the Have you liked it? Why? She wouldn't be walking around a thing like that, would she? I thought so. I know that face. I've seen her before. I've got the superintendent. I know who she is. She's a hooker. She used to work off the night bartender in the Taverna Patty about a year and a half ago. Know. What's her name? I don't know her name, but Jean Louis will know. Jean Louis? My old partner. Oh, Jean Louis Lebrec. Yeah. He knew everything. Thanks. <laughs> Are you the superintendent here? Yeah. Who lives up there? Nobody. Well, there's an apartment up there, isn't there? Penthouse. Okay, well, who owns the penthouse? It's the company that owns the lease. Well, who lives there, then? Nobody lives in it. Nobody lives there. Some people have keys. They come in once in a while, that's all. Ever see her before? Leave the building afterwards? Anything at all out of the order? She's in the tenant, I can tell you that. People were coming out all the time. To see. Did you see anyone who wasn't a tenant? Not the Ask line. Frank. Maybe he can help you. Well, I'm asking you. I'm telling you, I don't know. Come on. Is there a garage around here or something? Yeah. Okay, where is it? Around the corner. Well, let's go. Need a key. You got a key? Yeah. Wonderful. Come on, come on, Robert. I'm already half an hour late. Take it easy. I get the uh, There we go. There we go. Just take it easy, baby. Right. Come on over here. Don't bother, though. Give her a shot over here. How about turning on some lights? It's a little dark in here. Don't touch anything else. Hey, you got no right to be here. Excuse me? I say you got no right to be here. Are you a superintendent or a lawyer? I'm the superintendent of this building. All right, well, you be a good superintendent, stay right there, and shut up. There a service that cleans this place? I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. You don't know anything. I found a light. Good thinking. Great future ahead of you, boy. Thank you. Nothing. I mean nothing. Yeah, but I mean, look what she was wearing. I mean, somebody must have let her in and come up with her. When I went out, they took everything with them. I think I got it. What? Big executive comes in from out of town, out for some hooker action. She comes up here. He whips it out. She takes one look.
It's never been like this with anybody else. You may think I'm lying, but that's the truth. I'm glad. I want you to feel good. Okay, what happened? On Cote St. Catherine, there's a 20-story apartment house. She went off the top of it. <laughs> What's that? A girl. She stays with me. Go back to bed, Laura. No, 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 no. I want her out here, please. Come on out, honey. Come on out of there. Come on. That's it. That's it. Remember my partner just said, huh? Elizabeth. Elizabeth what? Elizabeth Lucy. Is that her real name? I doubt it. <laughs> Jesus. That's Elizabeth, huh? That's her. Okay. She lives here, uh, Some of the time. Some of the time. How about the rest of the time? I don't know. You don't know? Did you hear last night? For a while. Then she went out. That's all I know. Where'd she go to? I don't know. You're madame? She gets her tricks through you, now where'd she go? I don't know what you're talking about. Elizabeth and Laura are entertainers. I'm their manager. Bullshit. Stop crying, Laura. What was she wearing? Qu'est-ce que c'est ton nom, là? Laura Tremblay. Okay, what color? Black, I think. Handbag? Yes. Mm -hmm. And you don't have any regular customers around that area, Coates and Catherine and Nelson? I wouldn't know about that. God damn it, Jim, let me talk to her. Take it easy, take it I don't like her attitude. Okay, I'd like to see Elizabeth's room, please. Laura? Come on, come on. You show it to me, huh? Uh-uh. You stay here, we'll have a little talk. something straight right now. I was on the morality squad for three years and I like putting wise asses like you in jail. I still like it, so don't get me any more pissed off at you than I am right now. You understand me? I understand you all right. But I can't tell you what I don't know. She worked for me some of the time. The rest of the time was her own. Find somebody else and ask them. I'll tell you this, if I don't hear what I want to hear from you, I'm gonna bust you just as heavy as I can. You can't do shit to me. 
Was she on smack? Yeah. You recognize that guy? Who? Him? <laughs> Go and sit there, please. Do you have any boyfriends now? She's dead. Oh, not now. I mean before, recently. No, no steady boyfriend. You sure? Yeah. Usually they'd find some letter, something personal. Must be a lonely girl. There was that, that girl, Sandra. Sandra, who's she? She used to be here. Elizabeth really liked her. Yeah. Where's she now? Just disappeared about a week ago. Nobody knows where she went. Jeez. Meg was really mad as hell. You know, she let us stay here. I broke her into the business and all. Oh, yeah, I can imagine. Oh, boy, I guess she's pretty tough, eh, Meg? She's not so bad. She and Elizabeth, uh, they get on well together? She was Meg's favorite. Meg really liked her. I did, too. She was a Catholic, wasn't she? No, oh, it's, it's okay. It's okay. I'm Catholic. Well, technically, anyway. Not a very good one. Me, too. She was wearing a crucifix, you know? Elizabeth? Mm -hmm. I never saw her wear one. She had a couple of rings. That's all I ever saw her wear. But she was a Catholic. Technical, like you and me. All right. You think she'd kill herself? I don't think she would, but... Look, she was on drugs. If she didn't kill herself, someone pushed her off that balcony. Someone killed her. You can't take that. Do you know who that might be? Go call a cop. <laughs> He took my phone book. Yeah, right. I tell you what I'm going to do with it, Meg. I'm going to run down every last John in here and blow your whistle once and for all. Look, you know he doesn't have any right to do that. Well, you shouldn't have got him mad at you, Mrs. Latimer. I've got a lawyer. I'll bet. Okay, okay, get dressed. Where are we going? Just get your clothes on. You don't have any reason to book me. Maybe my partner will think of something on the way downtown, eh?
Prions le Seigneur. Répands en nous, Seigneur, ton esprit de charité, afin que soit uni par le même amour de ce que tu as nourri de même à pain, par Jésus-Christ, ton Fils, notre Seigneur. Amen. Le Seigneur soit avec vous. Que le Dieu de puissant vous bénisse, le Père, le Fils et le Saint-Esprit. Allez dans la paix du Christ. Let me see, Sandra, for a few minutes. It's not a good idea. It's too soon. Just a few minutes. Elizabeth. Hello, oh, darling. How are you? Sandra, you can take Elizabeth to your room if you want, but just for a few minutes. And come and see me before you go. I'll be in my office. All right. You guys notice, but she's got needle marks on her. Yeah, you must have looked her over real good. Well, listen, my wife don't look half as good, and she ain't even dead yet. What? That's Elizabeth. Okay, let's go. No, no, 
You stay. Is there anything else you want to tell me? Okay, she can go. I thought you were going to book me. Maybe next time. Good morning, Mr. Werther. You look tired. I am tired. Yeah, long drive. Would you like to come have a drink with me before you go upstairs? No, thanks. I'll just... Well, what difference does it make to you? I can treat you right. Anyway, a guy in my position can make things tough for you, you know. Let's just say you're a little drunk. At 8.30 on a Saturday morning. And leave it at that. Excuse me. It's almost nine o'clock. I fell asleep. I don't pay you to sleep. This one did. You slept till now? I drove around for a while. I wanted to get some air. You must have gotten a hell of a lot. It's nine o'clock. Well, I needed a lot, Meg. Listen, I always want you to come straight back. It's smarter. A guy loses his wallet and yells cop. I don't want you wandering around where they can pick you up. All right, Meg, I'm sorry. I'm saying it for your own good. Look, I, I'm tired and I'm a little strung out. Yeah, you're late for that too. No, I'll just fix up and go to sleep. Not here. Go to the other apartment. Why? Just do what I tell you. I really need to. Take it with you and do it over at your place. Uh, why do I have to leave? Because you messed up my schedule by being so late. I have somebody coming over and I don't want you around. I'll be in my room. I don't want to argue with you. All right. I'll just get my stuff. Well, get it. Hello? Another few minutes. No. So. Maybe. Who was that man? Hurry up and get out. You didn't answer the question. When do you want me back?
thought you were tired. Damn yeah, right, I'm tired. I'll come back to bed. Well, I'm not that tired. Come back to bed anyway. No, I got uh, something on my mind, right? Hmm. A lot of things I have to do. Why the bloody hell am I shooting? Why today? Oh, why not? It's Sunday, for God's sake. So? So when am I going to see you? All of you? <laughs> well. I'm just going away for a couple of hours, huh? Hmm? Then I'll come back after. Okay? I don't know. I'm going out tonight. Oh? You, uh... You want me to come back or, uh, or not? I said I'm going out tonight. Well, uh, good. I'll see you later. Don't like playing second fiddle to some cooker. Especially a dead one.
Mr. Leifram, the police have left. No, I don't think so. Okay. All right, put that down. On the table. You tell me who you were calling. Who's Mr. Leifram? It's none of your business. Nice cup of tea. I've 
told you three times already, I'm not hungry. I'm very sorry, Elizabeth. What? Nothing. Are you flying? I wish I were. Didn't you get off? Just a little tickle. I'll just take another hit. That'll solve everything. Don't worry, Jimmy. I know what to do and what not to do. Oh, I'm sure you do. So did Sandra. you stop nagging me? You remind me of my father. Well, that's a compliment, isn't it? Oh, God, I feel like hell. You're very hostile. I just don't like to be nagged, that's all. And I don't have to put up with it. Look. If I'm in the way around here, I can move out, go someplace else. Don't be so sensitive, Jimmy. Pour me some tea. Those people who came to see me this morning, they're interested in you. Customers? Sort of. Well, they're special people. A Mr. Leifram is coming over to see you. Over here? Yeah. Stay home, he'll be there. Wait a minute. Why did you give them this address? I just told you, baby. They're special people, very important. Lots of bread. I don't care. I don't want anybody to know about this place, Meg. Now listen to me. There's a lot of money in this. For both of us. These people are very, very heavy. They're interested in you. You should be flattered. I'm not flattered. I want you to do this for me, baby. It's a favor. What kind of favor? It's just another trick, isn't it? I just told you, Elizabeth. It's special. I'll talk to you later. What's wrong? I think I'll go for a ride.
was it you said? That was late last night, about 11 o'clock. How do you know? Well, I just happened to be looking outside the window when I saw them driving off in the ladder. Them, who's them? Latimer and that girl, uh, Elizabeth. Yeah, well, I'm going to ask you again. Did you notice what that girl Elizabeth was wearing? A, a dress. Nothing fancy, like a white gown or an evening oh, dress. No, 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 just right. a dress. So that um, uh, one o'clock, Latimer comes back with this uh, with this guy. Oh, you uh, you just happened to be looking at the window at that time too, right? Well, I'm supposed to keep a track of what's going on in the right, building. Well, this guy that came back with Latimer, what happened to him? Yeah, he stayed up there for about 15 minutes, and then he came down again. And then the uh, the other girl, Laura, she came back at 2 o'clock. <coughs> and uh, then a little while later, you two guys turned up. Well, you saw us, too. Oh, yeah. Well, what did he look like? Uh, dark hair. Have you set? Go on. You yeah, see, I, I, di I didn't get a look at his face, see. Did you notice what he was wearing? A jacket. OK, thanks. You've been a great help. Uh, can I go now? Sure, sure. Thank you. Thanks. OK, Santo. What do you got? This is Mr. Latimer's bag, showing this address here. A couple of rings. Ident cards. And 300 bucks in cash. And what have you got? They're marked that way. Legs dope. I told you, found it in the sugar. Elizabeth's handbag. This was buried in the kitchen garbage. And the black dress. What have we got on, uh, on uh, leaf from? Leaf from... Leifram, so far, name Herbert Leifram, alias Sandor Banzini, 29 years old, muscle-bound, did three years at Kingston, oh, Fort Bush yeah, and Oh, yeah, been all over the place. Disappeared for two years, con artist. Okay, get so his pictures out. I didn't see him. I went out and he followed me. What's going on, Meg? I told you to stay home. You don't tell me anything. Not you or anyone else. You're a hard girl to get a hold of. This is your special customer? The man I work for would like to meet you. Not interested. That's too bad. Everything's been arranged. Not so far as I'm concerned. OK, let me talk to her. Now come here. I never crossed you. And I've always treated you like royalty. I'm asking you simply to trust me. And not to ask so many questions. Not to ask so many questions. Questions. Okay, listen. It was supposed to be Sandra. It was all set. Then she disappeared. So? Would I let anything bad happen to that little girl? I don't know, Meg. Sandra and you were very close. Do you know where she is? No. Okay. You're asking me to believe you, and I'm asking you to believe me. Will you? All right. But I don't guarantee anything. You and I had an agreement about my apartment, yes? Now all the bets are off. Let's go. Let's go. Can I see Fasla? 
l'ai vu quelquefois. Quoi Je l'ai vu quelquefois. Il était ici hier soir vers 9h. Seul Avec M. Nelson. Bon, avec M. Nelson. Cheveux noirs, euh, costaud. Euh, plutôt châtain. Qu'est-ce qu'elle portait euh, Une robe du soir noire. Est-ce qu'elle avait des bijoux euh, Je ne me souviens pas. Ça euh, Ce médaillon, là euh, C'est pas un médaillon, ça. C'est une lunule. Bon, Qu'est-ce que c'est qu'une lunule C'est un pix. Un pix What the hell's a pix les prêtres s'en servaient pour porter la communion aux mourants. Yeah, my grandmother nearly died four times, and each time the priest brought the host in a lunule, in a pix. It's a pix. Yeah. Alors, ma carte. Si Nelson vient, tu m'appelles. Oui, d'accord. If you don't, I can make a hell of a lot of trouble for you and everybody else. You understand? T'as compris Compris. D'accord.
That's Elizabeth's father. He's an ex-army colonel. That's his house in Bedford. Still lives there. That's where Elizabeth grew up. Got nothing from him. As far as he's concerned, she died seven years ago. And that's her first boyfriend. Came from a good family, had a good future. Became a dope addict and dropped out. Clement? I just had some mug shots of Lee from Renault. Every radio car should have them within an hour. We're trying to break the code in Latimer's phone book. That number the super was calling turns out to be a goddamn phone booth at St. Mark in Sherbrooke. He loves it here. this morning with her throat slit along with another one of her girls. Maybe you're next, so wise up. Come on, we know everything. The name of the company that owns that penthouse is called Olst Incorporated. The president is Kirsten, and Liefrem works for him. Now, you were with Kirsten last night, weren't you? You were with Kirsten last night. Oh, wow. Where's Kirsten now? Oh, smile. Where is he? Oh, smile. Where is he? Where's Kirsten? Hey. Have you noticed that before? See it upside down? Dr. Hildebrand, I'm glad I got you. Nothing, I'm all right. Look, I'm going to Spain tonight, and there are some things I want to get to you. Um, an insurance policy and some money. I want you to hold on to them for me, for Sandra. Well, I just, I want you to hold on to them, that's all. I can't explain it, it's nothing, it's just a feeling I have. All right, now, I can't get out to meet you. Is there anybody who could meet me? No, not here. Please don't ask me any questions, Dr. Hildebrand. Just help me. All right. All right. Can you call him right away? I'll be there within a half hour. Thank you. Сейчас, комиссар. Сейчас, комиссар. Сейчас, комиссар. 
go to the sea? No, I have to go to the to go someplace. Merci. By night, in my bed, I saw you. Taking you back to your place to rest up for tonight. Now you care about Sandra and Jimmy, right? I suggest you be at Latimer's at 10 o'clock tonight. Stop making me work so hard. Thank <laughs> you. 
suppose that's not a normal reaction. Well, I've been a cop 23 years. I don't know what that means. You see, I loved her very much. Yeah. I'm a homosexual. I never really had any sort of a friendship with a woman in my life. We met almost a year ago. Things were pretty bad for me. I'd already had one breakdown. I was on my way to another. This guy I was with. I was very involved with him, but he wasn't a very nice person. One night we were in a restaurant. It was worse than usual. Anyway, I finally ran out into the parking lot. I was sitting there on the ground between two cars. I suppose I was going to kill myself. I looked up, and she was there. She'd seen the whole thing, and she came out. She talked to me. She understood what was happening to me. I didn't have to tell her anything. She just understood it all. She took me back to her apartment. She made coffee, and we talked. just stayed there. I knew there was something terrible going on yesterday, but she wouldn't tell me something about it. Something terrible? What was that? She couldn't talk about it except... Except what? A new customer, very rich, very important, with a big ship, the Mount Royal. What was his name? Did she tell you? Pearsall or Pearson, something like that. Pearson? Yeah, Pearson, that was it. What else? We took a drive yesterday. About noon. There was a car following us. Oh, what color? A black Cadillac limousine. But she really didn't seem surprised. Annoyed, maybe. But it was like she knew they were watching her. Who was watching her, Kirsten? I don't know. Well, could you identify the guy that was following her? Yeah, I think I could. Up there. Finish very clear. Monsieur Gilles will take it as a personal insult if you don't eat it. You can have the car. Let me drive you there. I'd rather walk, honestly. If I drive you, you have time to stay. Finish that coffee. Jimmy. Let me go. You stay. I'll see you later back at the apartment.
We fixed up an hour ago, but I... I didn't get straight. I told you not to do that tonight. I'm going to get through this any way I can. In fact, I was thinking of asking you if I could have another. He doesn't want you to. I'll make you a drink instead. You know I don't drink. Soft drink, then. When do the festivities commence? No calls. Where do the festivities commence? You ask too many questions. Finally broke the code in Mech's book and staked out Lee from. He's already wounded Santo and Clement. They found him at the docks on a large freighter that Kirsten owns. Who's up there, Lepram? That's the man that phoned. He's alone on the boat and he's crazy. He's got one of our men as hostage. Doctor. 
Now put him down! You'll get your doctor. for a few minutes first. Uh, what is it, Meg? It's making me so sick. Don't worry. Uh, uh, Just lie down uh, uh, You're going to feel better in a little while. Doctor's on his way up. Now, where's Kirsten? He's waiting for you! Okay, he's here now. Careful, careful, I'm right behind you. Is everyone in position, please?
doctor? Yeah. Come on. All right. That's far enough. Put the bag down. Easy. Lovely, Elizabeth. This is the way you want me. Almost. Just let me add. This.
host. Yes, Moses. It has been consecrated. And now we must desecrate it. Kirsten, wake up. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Anderson. I've been expecting you. Elizabeth Lucy. Remember her? Conducted a black mass last night. You killed her, Kirsten, didn't you? And three others. So a lot of people seem to die around you, Kirsten. My name at all. Oh, yeah? Well, what's your name, then? You know my name. You know it, Anderson. You know it better than anyone. When your wife died in that accident, you were happy. You felt liberated. My name touched you then. You went to confession, but it didn't help. You couldn't forget. You didn't want to. You too felt the hypocrisy of the church. Why don't you kill me? Evil. 
But you don't know it, Henderson. You don't know it till you touch it. Till you open yourself up to the power. When it manifests itself, then you know. And it's there. It is. It exists. I've seen it. I have become it. You set me free.